How'd I do? We're still alive, Lieutenant. I'd say you did good. Nomad! Thank God you made it! Take a look at this. One of the pilots brought it in. Oi, Nomad! Get a load of this ugly bastard! Yeah, okay. Psycho Keep Spoon steady. Trophy. Hey, be careful! The Admiral's nuts bringing this thing on board. You got something to say, Collins? No, sir. I didn't think so. Dead now, ain't it? We saw the, the same thing with our generators in the mine. These creatures drain energy from nearby power sources. You could have mentioned that before we brought it on board! Nomad, the Admiral wants to see you down in CDC! That video feed you sent back's causing a bit of a stir. Man. Come on, the Admiral's waiting. Glad you made it, Psycho. Where you been? Hurry up, mate! in supplies now. Yes, sir. You going to CDC? Head to that? Dr. Rosenthal, report to CDC. Dr. Rosenthal, to the CDC. Lieutenant Newman, please report to the flight deck. Lieutenant I'm going to go find Profit before he does something stupid. I'll catch you later. Strickland, if you can hear me, you've got to get everyone off this island. There's thousands of these things, and they're waking up. It's an infestation. No man. You did a fine job out there, son. Thanks to your video feed, the Joint Chiefs have recommended a nuclear assault. As soon as I get final confirmation from the White House, we'll reduce these bastards to dust. Admiral, we shouldn't rush into any decisions here. We need time to explore other alternatives. You want to second guess the President? The Joint Chiefs? I'm not sure you understand the gravity of the situation, Doctor. Just over a week ago, military intel sats detected abnormal heat signatures from that island. At first, we suspected the Koreans were testing nukes. CIA and NSA got word... It gets better. Four days ago, NASA picked up a high-frequency signal emanating from the center of the mountain. The beacon is directed at a star, somewhere in Galaxy M33. That's almost four million light-years away. It could be a distress signal. A call for help. You said the samples you found were millions of years old. That's true. But this technology is so advanced, it can't be terrestrial. What if they were stranded here, and now they're calling for help? Whatever they are, wherever they're from, we need to act quickly. I have planes armed with nuclear missiles on standby. With respect, sir, there's no guarantee a missile will even breach their defensive perimeter. You want guarantees by a toaster. I'm not gonna sit around and hypothesize while the safety of our planet is at stake. This is ridiculous. Those things have drained every power source they've come into contact with. The whole mountain is one giant power sink. Look at the schematic. This energy source runs through the entire structure of the mountain. Look at the shape of it. Compare it to the creature we brought on board. My guess is this thing's biological, a living entity that feeds on power. We can't predict what will happen if we use nuclear weapons against it. You care to predict what will happen if we don't? I think there's another way. I just need more time. There is no more time, Doctor. Sir, we just lost contact with the USS Lexington. I want all non-critical personnel out of here right now. I'll be in the armory. Come find me when you're through with this asshole. That means you too, Lieutenant. I saw your CO heading down to the armory. He's probably waiting for I can't believe they never made it. 
made it out. Word is you guys were inside that sphere. Nomad, you made it. Hey, Nomad. You all right, mate? I've still got no idea how you rigged these weapons, boss. We don't understand it either. The firing mechanism is quite complex. It would take us weeks to reverse engineer it, yet you managed to modify them in the field. You even integrated the power source with your nano suit. Remarkable. Yes, I'm a natural. To put it mildly, okay, your suit should be fully operational with a few minor enhancements. I've diverted extra power to your hydro thrusters as requested. You're good to go, Major. Dr. Gillespie, I need to run some tests on Nomad's nano suit. I was told you'd be able to help. Certainly. Take a seat, Lieutenant. We're anxious to retrieve the environmental data from your suit's recording unit. Sit down, Nomad. We don't have much time. Nomad! Go easy on that thing. It's volatile. Relax, I know what I'm doing. And this is Admiral Morris. Energy critical. A few moments ago, I received authorization from the President to launch a limited nuclear strike against the hostiles on the island. Obviously, the decision to use nuclear force is a very serious one. We are still unsure of the exact nature of our opposition. Based on intel gathered by our special ops team, we believe our planet is facing an imminent In here, and Lieutenant. very the real Admiral's threat. Expecting you. So. Major Barnes, this is Admiral Morris. Put that veto down immediately. Major Barnes! What is he doing? Sir, should I scramble an intercept? Let him go. Crazy bastard just signed his own death warrant. About time, Lieutenant. We're almost ready to launch. That major of yours just went AWOL. Raided the armory, took a VTOL, and headed back to the island. The Prophet's going back there? You have to delay the launch. He made his choice, Lieutenant. Admiral, I'm begging you to reconsider. It's too much of a risk. What if this is exactly what they want? What if we're playing into their hands? I don't have time for what ifs, Doctor. The Pentagon has authorized the use of nuclear force. I have my orders. Constitution Command, this is the Marauder 1. We've got a lot of command approaching critical range. Copy, Marauder 1. Stand by. We're ready, sir. What if you're wrong, Admiral? Can you live with the consequences? Proceed with the launch. Aye, aye, sir. Marauder 1, this is Constitution Command. That's a green light. Deliver the payload. Over. I hope you're right about this. You, me, and the rest of the planet. Get off, Nomad. This whole ship's going to hell in a handbasket. Those things are breaching our hull from every direction. Get out there and fight, soldier! We cannot lose this ship! The 
The door's jammed, Lieutenant. Don't just stand there. Force it open. in the hull. I'm heading down to the reactor room. We're gonna make a break for the flight deck. These bastards are everywhere. Give us a shout when you're topside. Roger, psycho. Nomad, I've been working on the remote transceiver. I think we can manipulate the recharge mechanism via your nano suit. If you get in trouble, let me know. I'm always in trouble.
Tell me what I need to do. First, you need to disable the circuit breakers in the exchange room. That allows you to restart the reactor safely. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it. Okay, that should do it. Great. Rod arms are now open. Head over to the reactor room and initiate the scram sequence. Okay, I'm in the reactor room. What next? Hit the red button! Scram sequence initiated. Good work, Nomad. The control rod should bottom now.
I'll get up there, but I need to make a stop for it. Boys, head into the lab and pick up that cat cat. Make it quick, Lieutenant. We need you out on deck. There's something up here. Something big. Got the tech cannon. No bad, the flight deck's overrun. We need to get off this ship. Hurry! We're bailing out, no man. I'm gonna grab a VTOL and get us outboard. We'll wait for you.
Okay, the hatch is open. There's a naval fleet en route from Japan. They'll be here within the hour. I'm setting course to intercept. No. We know how to beat them now. We need to keep fighting. I'm picking up a transmission. What is it? You ain't gonna believe this, mate. It's Prophet. He's alive? And kick him by the sound of it. Looks like he's inside the sphere. Lock onto his position. We're going back. <laughs> 